Hey guys, I'm back. So, you might hear some noise behind out there because the neighbors are doing some work on their house. Anyway, so I'm back and I was going to told you I would talk to you about the haul that I got from the Hoosier Fiber Festival. Hoosier Hills, right? Yeah, ah, the Hoosier Hills Fiber Festival. Ah, there we go. So anyway, <clears throat> the first thing I wanted to show you was, so I met up with my friend Sarah, who used to be a subscriber, but we're friends now. <laughs> well, we really are. She's sweet. I love her to pieces. She's hilarious, guys. Anyway, <clears throat> so met up with her first at the parking lot. And then she gave me a gift, and she didn't have to do that. But the first thing she gave me was... It says today is a yarn day and it's a calendar and it has a marker thing so I can write stuff on here. We got that. Let's see if I can put this somewhere. And then give me this cute bag and it's of course it's knit. Oh, it is warm out too. It's now it's down to 85, but the sun's like right there. It's baking the hell out of my leg. Oh, and if you were wondering, if you were watching my last video, you know I was going to have ham sandwiches for dinner. They were amazing. And I had ham with Swiss and mustard. It tastes like I was out on the lake with my family. And then I opened up a jar of limed pickles, and I ate that with my sandwiches, and I felt like I was back here when I was a kid having lunch at my grandma and grandpa. It was great. Anyway, in this bag, she got me 100% roving wool. <clears throat> Says it's excellent for needle felting. She thought maybe I could try using it to spin with, but the colors are, bright colors of tangerine. I don't know which one is tangerine. I'm gonna say this one, probably. La, lemon, li tangerine, lemon, Cherry, blueberry, green apple, and jelly berries. Jelly berry? What's a jelly berry? I don't know. And then <clears throat> she got me two cute little coasters, ceramic coasters. This one here has a drop spindle, lit girl with drop spindle. And this one here has just got a lady with, it says yarn queen, and she's got a bunch of balls of yarn. Cute. And this is not intended for food use. I'm just going to use them as a coaster, right? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> she gave me a bar of goat soap. I haven't had any goat soap in a while. Smells nice. She says she made it. She used to make it or she still does. Anyway. She made this. Fly. Be gone. And then there's this in the bottom. And they're little beads. And I don't even know if this was supposed to be in the bag or not. But they're a bag of beads. And there's little heart shaped beads. And other little beads in here. So... Sarah, are these yours? <laughs> so anyway, got those. Ooh. Oh, okay. Then we went into the fair festival and stopped at the front booth, of course, and I got me a t-shirt and the picture drawn on it was by a, I do believe they said a seven-year-old um, she t she got a book on how to draw llamas and so she drew the llama for this shirt and it says Hoosier Hills Fiber Festival unfortunately it doesn't have the year of the Fiber Festival but that's okay it's okay. 
And I got me a great big shirt, because why? Because well, I don't like a shirt stuck to me. Hence why I'm having trouble with this thing. Yikes. But anyway. Okay, so I got that. And I got me a canvas bag. Mm. At the bottom it says, Fiber Festival, Hoosier Hills, Fiber Festival. What is that? Very cute. And then I got, oh, my back is killing me again. I'm starting to get the trolley horses in my back. Oh, cool. And then I got me a water bottle. A water bottle, and it says Hoosier Hills Fiber Festival on it. And there is water. This is a cup. I will never use it as a cup. And then there's water. Mm. Just so you know, this is still ice cold. And I put it in here last night before I went to bed. Still nice and cold. It says that it'll keep it cold for like seven or so hours or something like that. It's been way past that. And it's got a little thing on the bottom. What else did I get? Oh, um, I got also a little pen. It's a little sheep lapel pen. There we go. There we go. See him? I don't know if you can see him or not, but there. There he is. <laughs> Cute little feller. Cute little feller. He is actually. This little guy right here. That's who that is. And he's holding a loom. He's looming. Or, yeah, he's making stuff. So anyway, okay. Then the first place we stopped had buttons. I'm sorry if I don't sound so enthusiastic, but I'm literally having trial horses in my back. And they hurt like the living bejesus. But anyway, so I got two buttons, these kind of buttons. This one says hooker for life. I don't know about for life, but I would definitely be hooking for life. But I might add other things to my repertoire. And this one says help me, I'm crocheting and I can't get up. So anyway, okay, so those are those, and I don't know which booth that was in. So, yeah, this is not part of that. Okay, I can tell you what booth I was in. So, oh my gosh, my back is killing me. The booth I was at... I went to was thirty two, which was Denise's fleeces. I do believe that's the one that had the buttons and stuff in it. Um, or it was deep dyed yarns. You know, it might have been deep dyed yarns. Because I got also a lot of these deep dyed yarns. Sorry, like I said, I said I needed to write all this stuff down. I went to deep dyed yarns and I got two of these. And they are merino. And they are green, and they this is the colors for sure. And they are so soft. Oh, so soft. And uh, these were five dollars a piece. And um yeah, they're five dollars a piece. Merino, and that was, I believe, that one was um, deep dyed yarns. Yes, I do believe so. Okay, and I went into Black Cat Fibers, and they had some beautiful yarns. I didn't want any yarn, though, really. But that's, that's what I got there. <clears throat> and I didn't get a business card from them. Um, just, I don't know. I didn't, uh, I, I don't know if it's because I was new and I don't know what I'm doing. 
but I kind of felt like, I don't know. I, I, she didn't give me a receipt for my purchase, so there's that. And then I went to booth 20, 24, 23, 24, no, 25, 26. And that was Rebel, Rebel Pearl, I believe. Um, I'm not really sure how this worked out because it looked like it was this way, but it's actually this way. I'm not real sure. So it was either Rebel Pearl or Shiny Dime Fibers that had these, and these were just a dollar a piece. And they're just pieces. Like there's this one, and it's, and I don't even know what it is, just pieces of a wool, wool mix. But this one has like, it's got some oranges and some different shades of orange and some yellow flakes and orange flakes and the fiber is kind of a orange color I don't know if you can see it or not see stupid bugs ugh but anyway uh there it is but that's a dollar for that I don't know how much it weighs. Maybe an ounce. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you weigh. I mean, well, I know how to weigh things. And then I got this one for a dollar. And there's blues and oranges and browns and rust colors and yellows and just all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And I got that one. It's for a dollar. So that was two dollars at that one and I'm thinking that might have been it might have been shiny dime fibers but it could have been rebel pearl too I don't know I think it was rebel, rebel pearl I just know that it was across from Wooly Knob Fiber. It was right, right across from Wooly Knob Fiber. It was in the 26, and 26 is Rebel Pearl, the way they've got it numbered on here. But I don't remember because I didn't see a business card. And I don't know. Some people just were not very helpful in their booths, and some people were. Like, they didn't, I don't know. Just some people weren't and some people weren't. But then I went over to the Wooly Knob Fiber Mill Corp Company Incorporated's booth. And I'm going to show you his business card right now so you can get a hold of Jeannie and um, by appointment and see if you have any fibers. Because providing carding services for your washed fiber. So this is for your washed fiber and they are in Indiana. And I will show you his business card right here. So we'll sit, hold it there for a minute. If you didn't get it, let me know. And I will send you the information or I can link it below, I guess. He doesn't have a website that I found. I don't see a website. Anyway, so here are the four balls I got from him. I'll set this down over here. Because that's some more stuff. Okay, the first one I got, I saw, this one struck my eye immediately. Look how blue, isn't that beautiful? And this is Romney. I said this was Romney. Wool. There we go. Romney wool. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Smells nice too. And it's soft. I mean, like, yeah, you could totally wear this, make this into something for scarves or whatever, but there it is. Isn't that beautiful? Yep. Super cool. Super, super cool. And yeah, it's like all the way through. It's beautiful. This beautiful blue. 
cobalt blue, would you call it? But it's Romney. Romney wool. There we go. I'm tucking that back in there so I don't lose it. That way I know what it is. And then another one. I, I don't want to show. Well, I'll show you this one, I guess, next since it's on top. This one here is BFL and Jacob's Cross. Jacob Cross and BFL Black Faced. Or B some. Anyway, this is his actual sheep from his actual farm. That he, and this is, he colored this. You know, I love the colors. I love the colors of it. And it's so freaking soft. And there's like, there's flaking in there of others, you know, of, you know, the different chunks of colors. Some orangish. And it smells so nice. It smells so nice. And it's so soft. And there's still some spots of vegetation in here. Right, you can see that right there. A little bit of vegetation. That's okay. But this one's BFL and Jacob Cross from his farm. That's what he said. Anyway, that's what he... Yeah, this is, if I remember correctly, this is the one because I said, oh, this is like super soft. And I got fibers up my nose. And that's, he said, was his, his sheep. And then this one here is mixed wool with mohair. And I saw this and fell in love with the colors. Very earth tone. Very, like, look at those. Look at that rusty, greenish, and so rugged. Like, this would make a really freaking cool hat for a man. I just, it's, it feels like a hat. It's kind of roughy. It's kind of rough. It's soft yet rough. And it's still got vegetation. <laughs> it's got like pieces of straw and stuff and it's real real roughage, you know. I love it. I love it. And the colors. Look at look at this. Look, 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 look. look at them colors in there. Oh my god. They're so gorgeous. Ah, oh, so exciting. But that was a mixed wool and mohair. So, shove that in there. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and then the last one, this one here, I walked up to the booth and I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. And it's purples, and it's whites, and it's flaky, and it's got blue stuff in it, and it's got pink stuff in it. Hot pink, and cold, and electric blue, and just purple, and, uh, and it is Tarhi bamboo and sari silk ready look at that look oh, look at that this feels so amazing I feel like I'm about to watch two little ears pop up and just be a little tiny rabbit but look at that look at the blues and the bright Right, pinks and purples and electric blue. It's just so soft. I love it. Mm, it's like a, like a pillow. It's like a pillow. Oops, I lost my card. No, no, no. Now I got fiber in my mouth. Okay, come on, you. Sorry, huh? Okay, so let me tuck this back in there. So this one was the Tarki Bamboo Sari and Silk. And you can be seen. So brush through. <laughs> so those are the four I got from, again, Wooly Knob Fiber Mill and Corp. Inc. And they're in Garrett, Indiana. His name is Jamie. And there's his phone number. I'm calling by appointment. And he processes washed wools. Okay. Your washed wools. Okay. Oh, I still love this blue. Look at that. Urgh, that is so pretty. And this one is so soft too. Okay. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Move, move, move. On, on, on. Okay. So the next thing 
I went around and I don't think I got any more stuff from there. I know there was one place there, the Knitting Notions. They had some Amish uh, Swifts there. Handmade ones. They had Walnut one. I wanted to buy the Walnut one, but it was $60. And I'm like, I. And they had Oak one there for 55 But though it's handmade, it's like, oh man, I really want it so bad. But I do not, I've not used a Swift yet. So I really, really, really didn't want to spend that kind of money to try something. Now, if I buy one off of Amazon for 20 some dollars, 30 bucks, and I like it, then I will upgrade to a, a better made one. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, there's that. So anyway, all right. And then went into another booth, another booth, <laughs> another um, place, and I'm trying to see which one it is. Um, Herring Vendors, Herring Vendors. I think that's the one. No, let me look real quick. Herring Vendor, um, 27, yes. Rainbow Rapunzel. Okay, so I went to Rainbow Rapunzel and her hanks were $28 a piece of her yarn. They were, and she actually colored it and spent it all herself. But hers were, and she didn't give me a business card. I don't, that was another thing. It was like, nobody gave you a business card when you bought stuff. It was, made, it was really odd. Not, well, some people did, but some people did not. She did not. She just gave me a receipt on this. This is, this is my receipt. Like, that's it. No information. No nothing. Um, nothing. <laughs> no info. <clears throat> um, the name of this, this is Sock Hop Yarn, and it's 400 yards each, 80% superwash and 20% nylon. They, um, Rainbow Rapunzel, and, um, she was selling these for $3, $3, three hanks, 400 yards each for $40 for the, for the thing. Am I right here? Yes. $40. So I handed her two twenties and she goes, oh, well there's tax. Okay. Pet peeve, just saying, um, Nobody that I bought from, now I'm not saying nobody else did this, but nobody that I bought from there charged me tax. Like, it was probably already included in it. Like, if it said $5, it was $5. If it said $28, it was $28. There was no, no $28 plus tax. She charged tax. So, what was supposed to be $40 came out to $42.80. Okay, but um, whatever. It was, like, it was a, still a cheap, cheaper price, yes. However... Um, I could have went and bought three. If I was buying these at $28, that means she was selling her $28 skeins, or hanks, I'm sorry, for $20 plus tax. So she was more expensive <coughs> than, than other places because she was charging tax on top of her $20. So anyway, these are the hanks that I got. Two are heathered and one is not. They are or orange and tan or oatmeal, oat color, and brown. But here's the one Hank. It's super pretty and super soft. And then here's the other one. She had a whole bin of these of different ones, and oh my gosh, there were some in there. Um, um, my brain just shut the hell off on me. Yes. Anyway, there were some in there that some people that would just just freak out of neons and bright bright colors and, oh but there's this one i got it in the light here too and then here's the brown different and it's tonal it's so pretty anyway they all go together real nice and i don't know what i'm gonna make out of it. it just called my name that i should buy this one sock hop yarn 80 superwash 20 nylon Four hundred dollars a piece, or four hundred yards a piece, and I just noticed like this. Here, look at that. Like it goes from that to that. Yeah, and she spun all these, and then she had some really crazy spun stuff, like full of all kinds of crazy stuff, just full of stuff. Anyway, so that was what she. This is the only yarn I bought. 
and that's only because it just caught my eye. And that was at Rainbow Rapunzel. And then before that, I was at... Um, Rainbow Rapunzel was... Uh, 26 was Clifty Creek Alpacas. No, that wasn't it. And then... Knits and Pearls. <gasps> That's the one. I I can't see it. Is that this one? Is this Knits and Pearls? Uh... Yes! Went to Knits and Pearls before I went to the Rapunzel. Went to Rainbow Rapunzel. Went to Knits and Pearls. And um, when I was with Sarah, she had her friend Joanne there. Joanne is a spinner. And she's and she looks super cute in her overalls and I want a pair of overalls too they were so cute so anyway that aside my back's starting to feel better so that's good so anyway I went there and it was what I just say it was tra la la knits and pearls okay so I went to knits and pearls and she told me she's like you have merino you have this you have this you need to get this kind because it's another wool that's really good for beginner spinners. And so you can see this. This one here, Holly for probably proper pineapple. You would like some of Rainbow Rapunzel's colors that she spins. But I think she said she's getting out of it because she was she was didn't look like she was in good um, health with her leg or something. It was her foot. She was she was injured in some sort of way. But anyway, so this place here, Knits and Pearls. Look at this, Holly, if you look at my channel. But anyway, look at this. Oh, look at the colors. Look at the color. Look at the paint, girl. Look at that. Boom. Very bright, very bright. On for days. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. And it is called Electrified. And it's 100% Romulet. 100% Romulet. And this was $20 for prof four ounces. So, yeah. And uh, those balls, the big balls, were $10 a piece. So, but this one here, these these were, I don't know, I, whatever. The, the It's Knits and Pearls Fiber Works, specialized in dyeing beautiful materials for the modern fiber artist. And I will show you their little thing here. Um, you can look them up maybe. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Oh, knitsandpearls.com. It's the very top part there. Again, this is called Electrified. Electrified. And it's Romulet. Rom Here, I'll let you read the whole thing. Read it to the web. No, I'm just teasing. But yeah. Yeah. So that was really cool. And, and, let me get this stuff out of here. Oh, here's the, here's the business card. Knits and Pearls, handmade knitwear and knitting supplies. Meredith Muncie, owner, designer, creator. And here's this. There's her business card. Uh, there, I guess. Yeah. There. And then she has an Etsy shop, Facebook and Instagram. And it's in pearls. And there's that information. Man, I wish. Okay. So that's that. And I got, with every purchase, you get a free stitch marker. And how appropriate, didn't even pay any attention. But I got the heart one. Yay. <laughs> so I got that. I mean, they were really on it. They told me all about it. They, they were just sweet people. They were great, great customer service. They paid attention to their customers. They got cute little bags. Stuff on it so you remember them 
I mean, I was trying, I couldn't remember. I mean, I could remember, but I can't. I'm having, I have trouble remembering things. And then, um, there is a place, I didn't get any yarn from them, but they have this yarn. It's birthstone yarn. I told you about it the other day. It's Mar Mar Maria and May Dye Works. We appreciate your support of our small business. Instagram, Etsy shop, and she has Gmail. Anyway, this is their big business card. But anyway, they that yarn, girl, guys and girls, guys, gals, you guys, period. You peeps out there. <laughs> they got the sparkly yarn I ever see in my life. I never see anything like it. It's crazy. But here it is. And I'm, I'm going to go up here real quick. Let me see that. Oops. And I'm going to drop it on the floor. But here it is too. Yeah. Awesome stuff. And I believe that is it, right? Di yeah, Marie yeah, that's it. This is definitely it. This is definitely them. Um... Um, yeah. Okay. And then, do do do, went around the corner. Oops, I gotta put that away. I went around the corner, and there was a lady in there that, I think it was this one. Let me look over here real quick. Nine. Uh, I went, um, in another one, I went to, let me see if this is it. I don't think so. I don't remember that because I remember this. And then we went down and there was an opening. So this might be it here. Sorry, I'm reading this, Matt. I'm trying to, I'm trying to visualize what's going on here. Okay, so 9 and 10 Folks Family Farms. 8... Leading main fiber is eight, six, and seven, five. Soapy U, four. Singing land fibers. Nope, that ain't them. No, that's the front. So I'm in the wrong one. Flip over. There we go. This makes sense. Hop along hoppery. <laughs> hopperty. Hop along hopperty. Stopped in there. That lady there was amazingly sweet. And I wish she had business cards. She was completely out. But my friend Sarah knows who she is. She sees her all the time. So anyway, when we stopped there, she was the one that was spinning out um, the Angora wool. Or Angora fur wool. And um, anyway, I just was watching her spin that for a while while she was talking. And she had the Angora rabbits and she had sold them already. But anyway, hop along hopperty. H O P P dash A dash long hopperty. H O P P I T R Y. And I will show you right there. If you can see it. Um, hop along hopperty right there. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet woman. Uh -huh. I got three and a half ounces of 100% Angora for $28. Oh, yeah, y'all. It's like Angel it is amazing. Look at this. It's in a bag, and I just don't even know. I'll pull some out. How's that? Look at this. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Oh man, it's like it is heaven. Oh my goodness sakes alive. It is so amazing. And it smells like a bunny. <laughs> anyway, so uh love it. And of course, you know, it's real, it's the real deal, because there's some doodles on it not been touched it's just harvested however you want to say that but I will tell you right now she don't hurt her bunnies I saw her bunnies 
chill it. Tear them up, bleed them out or nothing. She does, ooh, she's super great with her bunnies. So that was hop along hop or two. And then I was outside and I was at Lindiana Acres Alpaca Farm in Fairland, Indiana. And I was Heidi Lind, Alpaca Fleece Raw to Roving. Um a pack of fleece, raw, skirted, washed, carded, blended, handmade, felted, artistries, purses, soap, booties, scarves, dryer balls, nesting balls, and they sell fleeces and everything. And, and, and uh, carded wools. Anyway, so this is their card. That's the front. And then that's the back. Anyway, it was um, in front of the fleece competition building. I have ham stuck in my tooth. Hold on a second, I need a drink. Oh, this is my cup. Remember this one? I crochet because punching people is frowned upon. <laughs> I still have this cup. Anyway, oh, and I picked this really nifty pin. It says Hoosier Hills Fiber Festival. And it's a doo -doo -doo stylist. Anyway, so I went to the alpaca where they were shearing alpacas. Oh, and they're so cute. The one was going, hmm, 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 talking. It was adorable. Wait a minute. So then I got there and I took these up. Mmm, you guys. These are not dyed. These are natural alpaca colors. So the first one I picked up was this one and it's eight ounce ball. And it's lab they're labeled, so look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Y'all, look at it. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It is. Mm. You guys, it's alpaca. But anyway, let me see if I can find the little thing. It was in here. Don't tell me I lost it because it's got his name and everything on it. There it is. Woo. Scare me. See, this is how this is how I would love to find all my fibers like this. All my felt or my not felt, dipshit, roving things with taggies on them. This one here is alpaca fiber from Alvin Roving. And it is 80% alpaca with 20% merino. It's eight ounces. It's $40 for this. This was $40 for this. Here we go. But anyway, and she gave me, because... Um, in case I like this and it spins out good, she gave me the name of the alpaca, which is Alvin, so that if I want to order from her, I can tell her I need another eight ounces of Alvin, please, and she'll hook me up. But there you go. Hook it up. There's Alvin, guys. Oops, tuck it in, tuck it in. And then, next one. Oh, and I didn't know this also. If you're putting your your wools in the bags, like that. leave them open so they breathe because apparently they sweat. Did not know that. The next one I got was this. This is the, his color now. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. And I got two of them because they're four ounce balls. But eight ounces of this and his name is Equitos Equitos and it's alpaca roving and it is 80% alpaca 20% cop coopworth c-o-o-p worth and these are $16 for four ounces I got two of them Equitos Equitos, Equitos. So if I like this fiber, I can say, I would like some more Equitos. Now this is, I think she said this was his first shear, because he's, he's young. 
This is his first shearing. So this is from his first shear. Yeah. So let me see if I can find the end here. And yeah, I'll show you that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Ooh. And y'all, it's so soft. It's so soft. And it's like milk chocolate. It reminds me of Hershey's chocolate. And this is just nice, nice ball right there. And I'll give you a nice bag. Put that in. Um, oh, I just said, yeah. Yep, and again, this is her um, Farland, Indiana. So, yeah. I think that's all that I have. I do believe if that ain't enough. There was a lady outside with a trailer. There was two, there was three trailers outside selling stuff. One of them I went and stopped at and they had some uh, notions bags or whatever. And they were kind of adult themed. And it was from a yarn adventure, embark on your own fiber journey. Um, Katie Tuberville, personal yarn enabler. <laughs> I will show you hers. Um, I didn't, I don't think I actually met her. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is their business card. And then, so if it's focusing, you can check in on it. And they had a lot of yarns as well. And then they had like, project bags and things like that there. Little trinkety, yarny themed stuff. But, uh, yep, that's what I got. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, it was a long day. And then after we went, after all this, we decided to go to Chinese food. And we grubbed down on some Chinese food and talked um, had a really good time. Let's see. Oh, had a, I really enjoyed my time there. I know now I learned a lesson, like I said. Um, the next time I go and I get one of these bad boys. Map of the fairground type things. that shows you all the different booths and stuff. That I'm going to, like when I go in, like this was the first one you went to. And with the concession, you walk in the, we walked in this door, and right here, this is where you signed up, right? So I should have been like, no, this is just the, this is just the um, welcome center. And so and then you go to 32, which is Denise's fleeces, and I didn't want nothing from there. But then 33 and 34 is deep dyed yarns. That's where I got the buttons and the two green hanks. And then 35 was, and 36 was Basket Treasures. And it might have been that one I went to. I don't remember. <laughs> but that's what I'm talking about. So when I walk through, because it's overwhelming if you've never been. It's very overwhelming. So if you're going to a fiber festival for the very first time, if they have maps, get one. And get a pen or something to write with. And just go through all the different places. Unless you say something that you cannot say no to, but you have to have it get it but if you see something that oh yeah they got a lot of those and I'll, I'll come back I'll grab me one of those or I'm not real sure if I really want it just circle it put a notation that this is you know what you want like down at the bottom or find a place on here to write you know if it was in 27 28 and you know it was woolly knob fibers and you saw that it has some like he had walking sticks there say you wanted a walking stick but you don't want to buy one yet so you put 27, 28, you circle it, and over here you put 27, 28, walking sticks. You know, just wherever you can do it, in a notebook or whatever. So then that way, whenever you go back out, because there was three whole halls to go through. And, like, I mean, this was the first one. I mean, look at all the vendors. And then this is the second one. Look at all the vendors. And then here's the third one. Look at all the vendors. Plus, you had three outside vendors, and you had the, the or four outside vendors that I knew that I know of. So, 
Yeah. Sorry. I got meat in my teeth. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah. So next time I'm totally, totally, totally gonna take my time, write things down. Because I didn't get to take, I was so overwhelmed. I didn't get to take any pictures. The only picture I took, I didn't. Sarah took of me in front of the llamas. That's it. <laughs> so anyway. So next time though, be sure to, I'm going to be sure, and you be sure, and you go, to map it out. Pace yourself. <laughs> it needs to be. But anyway, so where I'm at. I am 45 minutes, almost 46 minutes in. So I'm going to get off here, guys. And I hope you enjoyed your, my little show and tell of Hoosier Hill Fiber Festival. Hoosier Hills Fiber Festival. In Franklin, Indiana, at the Franklin County Family Grounds. Oops. Yeah. So, anyway, you guys take care. God bless. I'll be kind to one another, and I'll talk to you guys later.